first I'm going to add my butter. It's softened in the microwave. And my sugar, the fourth cup of sugar, and three fourths cups of brown sugar. And oh, there's something else. Oh, my pudding. that in there, lock it down, plug it in. I have a problem plugging stuff in. All right. I do like my KitchenAid mixer. Figured I need to get use out of it pour the money I spent on it, not let it sit on a shelf. I'm going to get that a little bit more mixed up and I'll be right back. Right, that's pretty mixed. I'm going to add one egg at a time. There's the first one. Let me scrape down the side. You can double this if you want to. You just don't have to double the chocolate chips. That way you have a little bit less chips per bite maybe. All right. Now the other egg. I have my oven that just went off at 350 degrees. All right, my teaspoon of vanilla extra. I got these at the grocery store, I believe 10 for a dollar. They're like eco-friendly or something. They're kind of cute. I'd spend that much on plastic shot glasses. All right, now, I think that's pretty well mixed up. Turn that off for a second. I want to take this off and add my dough hook. It seems to work better when you got cookie dough. I need to find a recipe for chocolate chip or cookie dough ice cream. There's got to be a safe way to make that. Maybe with dehydrated eggs or something. Where there's a will, there's a way. I need to put this on, don't I? Okay, well I got this up. I'm going to scrape it down again. And try to keep it all in the bowl. That would be a smart thing. Add my flour a little bit at a time. Oh, let me put my baking soda and salt. I added a little less salt because one of them sticks had butter in it. I mean, had salt in it. Okay, hopefully nobody bites into a heaping mouthful of baking soda. All right. Are you locked? Yeah, you are. Slowly add this in. I've never tried it with the pudding in the mix. I like my cookies chewy as opposed to crunchy. And to clean this, the sides of it, or the mixer itself, if you get a 
like a natural fiber pastry brush and just use it for removing flour from your equipment. We have a big stand mixer at work and flour goes everywhere sometimes if I forget that I have it on high speed when I go mix the crepe batter or pancake batter. Sides right here. I don't want the cookie dough to get too beaten because that will not make a good cookie. Oops, those in, and I got a little bit of butterscotch. I'm just going to add a handful. of those. I need one more handful. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let me pull you back a bit. flour I'll just knead that in but let me taste I know it's got raw eggs in it but I haven't died yet from trying that of course the way my legs been going I might okay let me try whatever taste mmm tastes like cookie dough all right I'll be right back when I start spooning it on the tray Alrighty, let's scoop these out. This is a pretty good size scoop. I'm going to use a smaller one because I'm only going to bake, let's see, however many I get on this tray is what I'm going to bake off. And then the rest I'm going to freeze. Damn, these are some jumbo cookies. It might take longer than 8 to 10 minutes to cook these. And if they touch, no biggie. Not like cookies have cooties. It's just me and my husband that will eat these. Maybe save a couple for my granddaughter. and convert this when I write down the recipe into grams or, or the metric system also because I'm noticing on a lot of channels when they do baking and stuff like that they do both measurements because not everybody that oh crap I didn't, not everybody that watches YouTube's from America and they do use the metric system I don't know why we never did actually I do I just didn't want to all right, these are going to go in a 350 degree oven. I'm going to check them in 10 minutes or, or until they're golden brown. I'll bring you back for it. All righty, they're all done. It took about 19 minutes and I smushed one of them with my thumb when I took it out of the oven. So that was my test cookie and oh my goodness they are delicious nice and chewy not crunchy of course crunchy cookies are good if they're what you like all right thank you everybody